Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, it's turned out to be a beautiful day in North Alabama. That is if you're in the shoals. Look at all the sunshine that you can see right here, but also notice the cloud cover that's still along the horizon. You are looking towards the east here and elsewhere we are still seeing Views that look like this. This is Gunnersville stuck under all that low hanging cloud cover. Temperatures are in the mid to upper 50s in northwest Alabama, farther toward the east where we are stuck under this blanket of gray. We're at the 50 degree mark. Others are not even that warm. We're stuck in the upper 40s in many locations. The Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network shows that very sharp cutoff between blue sky in northwest Alabama and then the gray sky along and east of I-65. Slowly but surely, these clouds are trying to work their way eastward, but I'm not confident that we lose the cloud cover entirely or lose it enough for us to see widespread frost tonight. So patchy frost is possible. Temperatures are dropping into the upper 30s. If we don't clear out entirely, I think we'll only be dropping closer to the 40 degree mark, but we'll slowly but surely see these clouds breaking up as the night goes on. Wind out of the north northeast at five miles per hour, eventually becoming a calm wind. So watch future radar here as we go past the current time period. This data source does show clouds trying to break up, but they're not gone completely by seven o'clock tomorrow morning. Those clouds play a big role in whether or not we have frost because they help hold in the heat from the daytime. If we don't have cloud cover, the heat from the daytime radiates back out into the atmosphere and temperatures drop more quickly. That's what we are expecting, at least for the shoals, not so much elsewhere where we still have a lot of that cloud cover in place. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, now to noon. Still mostly cloudy in many spots. Now all the way through the evening, here we go, it's mostly clear for at least two-thirds of North Alabama for our central and our western county. Still holding on to a gray sky there just after sunset by 7 o'clock. Some cloud cover left over in Jackson and DeKalb counties. And then by 7 o'clock Saturday morning, we wake up to some patchy fog, cold temperatures, and a mostly clear sky across most of North Alabama. So here we go. The frost advisory are all the counties highlighted in that kind of light blue, almost periwinkle color. It's mainly our counties north of the river, including Lawrence, Colbert, and Franklin County, southern middle Tennessee. That purple shading, that's the freeze warning that starts at 1 o'clock tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the frost advisory, we're talking lows in the mid to upper 30s. But if we don't clear out, we're only going to be dropping, remember, closer to the 40 degree mark. But just go ahead and be prepared for this. If you still want to get some extra life out of your growing season, cover up those plants or bring them inside and maybe get the ice scrapers ready just in case, in case we have any frosty windshields in the morning. Your bus stop forecast looks like this heading off to school, upper 30s, coming home from school, a little bit warmer than today, highs topping out in the upper 50s with some sunshine. And the weekend is spectacular, mid to upper 30s in the mornings, yes, but afternoon highs, low to mid 60s. And our seven day forecast shows it only gets warmer, it only gets better if you like it warmer, 70 degrees on Monday, 71 on Tuesday. We'll be right back.